I guess you're wondering why I'm drinking chocolate milk. Well, I guess you're going to have to watch this interview with Sammy Marie to find out. Hi everyone, this is Ray, or some of you might know me as Tiki with Ray, and today I am in Kirkland, Washington. I am at a place called The Warfront, and Sammy works here, and she... Well, first of all, what is The Warfront? The Warfront is a store that caters to collectors, reenactors, and living historians that are passionate about Civil War, World War One, World War II, yeah. and Vietnam. And a little bit of Korea, of course. Yeah. Let's not forget it. But you're mostly, you're, the focus mostly is mostly World War II. Yeah, that's my passion. Uh, so, therefore, it is it is kind of a little bit of the focus. And, you know, World War II defined and impacted the world as we know it. So, it is uh, one of the wars that carries the most memorabilia and that captivates the world. So Yeah, yeah. Well, how did you get, how did you get into... World War Two, or or all this. I've always, I, I've always loved, uh, you know, vintage in general. I remember hanging out at my grandmother's house, and she still had like her blue and black heavy tapestry 1940s couch yeah. and you know th th during she, she's from that depression era where they never threw anything away if it was still good you fixed it yeah. and you know you you kept it so growing up you know in this old house surrounded by all sorts of things wearing old vintage shoes that were in the closet and just digging through uh, dressers and such. So I, I, I've always loved it. It felt like home to me. Where did you grow up? Like, where are you from? I am from a small uh, northwestern town in Quebec, Canada. So I grew yeah. up over there. Well, Sammy mm -hmm. is a pinup model. That's How did you get into it? Um, I wanted to go ahead and do something different with my life. I was coming out of a divorce. I was, yeah. you know, the classic Cinderella story. I wanted to go ahead and, and make something, make myself feel good, yeah. you know, and, and do something different. And I had a coworker that did that for, uh, for fun. And I accidentally kind of peeked at her Facebook wall. And so I saw those incredible photos and I was thinking, you know, hey, you know, I love this era. I connect with it. Why do I not? do this myself yeah. so i experimented and now the student has beaten the master <laughs> uh, i've been doing this for five years consistently and i traveled the country and um i very specifically i love to go ahead and shoot in the original vintage clothes you have no idea what it's like to be at uh, an event and to be walking in a crowd yeah. And to be stopped by a 95-year-old man that has served this country. Yeah. And for him to look at you and say, I don't, I don't know. They, they, they start talking to me. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, they're transported into another era. I am a time-traveling machine all of a sudden. And they look at me and they, they, they know... They, they relive their lives as young men. Wow. Um, you know, or I, I get, sometimes I'll be walking around at, at an air show and a, a man will stop me and say, you remind me of my mother. Wow. And you can see the wow. look on their faces, you know, and, and, and that connection. So, you know, it's not just about being scantily clad, you know, it's about showing the class and the demeanor of the women in the 1940s. Hardworking women, but women that knew how to be absolutely stunningly classy and yeah. beautiful as well. Why do you think, obviously, fashion is definitely, it's not the same as it used to be. No. Well, why do you think it's, we don't have that class and that glamour, or whatever you want to say? Everything is expendable nowadays. That's an actually a pretty easy thing to, to think about. I mean, 
you the industry today as it is is about consuming consuming so right now this is a dress that i'm wearing okay that's that's a that's a dress from the 1940s okay and it's still here yeah it's still here if i had bought this at target two years ago and i had washed it it would be out the door man the color yeah. would be faded that's true. there would be there's just everything is built today in order for it to be destroyed 30 years down the road it's it's it, and and that's a really sad thing planned for obsolescence me to, absolutely yeah. nothing lasts forever and they, they, they they've definitely the machine has definitely accelerated that notion nothing wow. lasts forever because we have to continue buying 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 so uh, I live in a different universe where I'm surrounded by things that are 75 years old. Uh, it plus some of the items in this room right now are 125 or 150 years old. I feel like I grew up in the wrong decade. Do you feel that way? <laughs> I do. Do you? I do. I do. It wasn't an easy lifestyle in the 40s. People worked incredibly hard. They made incredible sacrifices. Uh, but... I feel that the unity um, that brought everything that brought them together and that common cause definitely gave everyone a purpose. Everyone had a role to play. Everyone felt that elation and that sense of belonging. And I think that we miss that sometimes. Yeah. You know, we live in a world where everything is consumed so fast. And no one has the time to go ahead and think anything for themselves because they are bombarded by millions and millions of pieces of information at a time. And I think that we don't have the time to go ahead and appreciate. It's a shame. It is. And I, I don't, I don't want to go ahead and sound like an old grumpy 75-year-old. I can be a old grumpy 20-something <laughs> year old too. As a matter yeah. of fact, I meet a lot of those. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But I... I very I have a sense of patriotism to me. Yeah. That is that is mine and mine only because I chose to be here. Yeah. You know I came from a different country and I made a a, a, a promise to myself that I was gonna go ahead and be a part of something. Yeah. And that's that's kind of what I'm doing today, you know. And the, the this is the closest era you know i think to me personally in the 40s that that has that sense of belonging you know the preparation of a pinup shoot is is it scary is it nerve-wracking is it, it it can be it can be but i you know when you prepare for a pinup shoot you choose the theme yeah you choose a photographer you choose to have a a, a relationship and a collaboration with that photographer yeah you choose to have a certain look. So you research your hair, you research your wardrobe, yeah. you research. So you slowly build that connection with the event. And there, in that preparation, there's a certain sense of confidence that builds up. And there's a certain sense of excitement, of course. And I do, I do research. I do research all the time. If yeah. I'm building a set, I like my set to be as accurate as possible. I mean, I take creative liberties. I think we all do. But I like to go ahead and I always like to have a little pinch of history or a little message. Yeah. You know, I, I'll be that geeky girl that will do a, a pinup shoot with a candy bar and a pair of nylons. Do you know why? Those were two things that were rationed during World War II, right? Those were two things that were rationed and offered as a very high luxury to women during World War II. Correct. I love that you know that. Yeah. Love it. So, so I've done the, my homework. Oh, really? Yeah. How many candy bars do you have in your car for the ladies out there? I have, I have nothing. <laughs> I have a bunch of map, maps and a car registration. That's really that's really sexy. You should reconsider. Well, no, hold on, hold on. You well, should if reconsider I, the content. So, so if I had a, a bag of those fun size <laughs> Snickers bars, like that would change things. Like, no. Well, here's a, here's an almond joy for you. 
<laughs> no, no, it. This is not. how I get the honeys. Look at that. I, Look at that Kit Kat over there. That's the. <laughs> you can always get a girl through chocolate. Are you kidding is, me? Is that right? Mm -hmm. What about chocolate milk? Chocolate milk. <laughs> Maybe. It, it, it depends. Make, so, do they even make chocolate milk anymore? <laughs> oh, God, you did not say that. You I haven't did not I, I haven't. I haven't, I, have, I haven't drank chocolate milk since, like, I was in school, like in elementary school. You should You should start again. There are some delicious options out there, I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> so you open up my refrigerator, and it's filled with, like, all milk. Chocolate milk. Sammy said I should start drinking milk again. Go, 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 go. Listen to me. <laughs> that will get you places. Well, my sinuses are clogged up constantly, <laughs> but hey. Who cares about chocolate milk? Strawberry Quisp, or what was it? What was it? Quick. Quick. Nestle Quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like strawberry. You, you add that stuff in it with, like, granulated. They still make it. They still make it. You you can even get it organic. Well, how, how, is there, how is there an organic Quick? There's an organic strawberry milk out there, my friend. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I I feel like we have little sponsors going on at the bottom of the screen right now for for Nestle milk and yeah, yeah. Nestle. If you want to send me some uh, free free <laughs> samples to try out, I'll be more than happy. Nestle, by the way, a company that made chocolate during World War II for soldiers. And let me guess, that chocolate was rationed. Oh, you bet it was. You bet it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we just touched on that. <laughs> you are so right, Ray. It was Ration. Yeah, five minutes ago we just talked. About it. This is a good question for you. So, okay. obvi so obviously, the fashion. You like the fashion. You like the history of it, mm -hmm. and the interest in like say World War Two and stuff like that. But a lot of like other models say they like the fashion, but how much do they care about the, the actual history too? Or like, oh, I just like how this looks. Um, well, there's a little bit of that, but I think that in all of us, there is a curiosity for life. Yeah. Um, I think that people today tend to not have the chance or the time or the opportunity yeah. to go ahead and, and explore that curiosity as much as they should. Yeah. Um, we fill up our lives with uh, a lot of empty calories. Yeah. You know, chocolate milk does have some nutrients in it. I'm just going to go out and put that in there. Yeah. Um, but not You really want me to start drinking chocolate milk, don't you? I think I think that's the thing for you, Ray. You, if you can find an amazing tiki drink that involves chocolate milk, I will make an entirely other episode with you. Okay. Dedicated to this recipe. Hold on. Do you work for Nestle? Is that is that the secret thing that you actually work for? A I dairy? do not. You work on a dairy farm and you're trying to push. Hey, that's everyone you hang out with, like, you know what I could really go for? What's that? A glass of milk? Well, all right. She, Sammy really likes milk it, a it, lot. It, it, it does the body good. That's what I hear. But um, do, you, do you work for a milk company? <laughs> I'm a big milk lobbyist. Big, because I'm really starting to think. <laughs> but no, uh, true story. However, my grandmother's parents my yeah. great my yeah. grand my great grandparents they work they they worked in a creamery that's what they did for a living oh, really? true story <laughs> true story all right so maybe you you don't work for nestle but you might have six stock in or something i like. do have some amazing uh 1940s milk bottles for sale <laughs> if you're interested no, no. Mm -hmm. you can put here here ray right? you're halfway there <laughs> <laughs> all you gotta do is fill it up with milk this is what happens when you make an episode about me. It just goes, wee. It goes, it goes towards milk. It, it really does. It really does. No, um, <laughs> seriously. What's your, what's your favorite food? Is it milk? No. Is it? Okay. No, it's not. What is your favorite food? What is my favorite food? Oh goodness! My favorite, um, my I think I love sushi. I think that's. Uh, I, I think that the America is in love with sushi. I, it's it's definitely sushi's great which started as a fast food by the way yeah mm -hmm. and you know what's crazy i heard in the original sushi restaurants mm -hmm. instead of serving it with uh tea mm -hmm. they actually served it with a glass of milk is that a fact <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible but that was a truck stop <laughs> type of thing what was 
sushi. Sushi was a truck stop guy. Yeah, it was kind of like those those little um those little what do you call them? The little trailers that you go to food food uh, food trucks. Food trucks. I was gonna it see how like long in, I was gonna see how long until you <sighs> You're like, so hard like on Like I had the answer and I'm like I'm so I'll, 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 I'll let her struggle. Those those food things where they the trailer mm. and the Oh, yeah, oh, you yeah, mean yeah. a food truck? <laughs> you know the the truck that has food on it, and it drives around. And it's in the back. Oh, you mean a food truck? <laughs> I, you you do this, and I have a hard time smiling. Right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> the faces that are gonna come out of this interview, I'm telling you. Oh gosh. But no, that's how I came to be a pinup. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> have you ever posed? Have you ever posed with a glass of milk? No, but that's gonna happen. No, it's gonna happen. It's gonna you happen. You gotta get one of those old timey mm -hmm. milk chucks. Sven, I'm I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, here you there, go. Here, here, here. There's a mustache. Yeah. You need to do um, the scenario where the milkman's coming to give the milk to the to the wife that's home while the husband's off at work. I have a great postcard. I'll show you later on that. I have everything in this store. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, you do. It's amazing. But, yeah, no, I don't even remember your question now. That's terrible. There wasn't a question. Oh, uh, okay. That, that, that answers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how we got into the topic of milk. <laughs> oh, why you keep, oh, why you keep, oh, why, oh, why you keep on bringing it up? <laughs> Me? You know, Ray, you should have some chocolate in your car. <laughs> yeah, that's not creepy. <laughs> like, I'm driving. I'm driving. There's some stuff with attractive women. Hey! Snickers! <laughs> hey, Susie, he has Snickers. <laughs> Maybe we should get them. You're, you're, with, you're so retro. Because or, do now, I, or do I throw, out, throw it out like I'm at a parade, you know? You're so very retro because nowadays it's free Wi-Fi. That's what gets the kids going. <laughs> Is that how you get something? I got free Wi-Fi. <laughs> no password. Hey, he has free Wi-Fi. No password. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the best thing on YouTube ever. Ever. That is. Uh, do you have other questions <laughs> for me? No, I think we learned all we need to know about Sammy today. <laughs>because it, cause it's like it's like one thing if it was like a tiki a tiki mug or something uh -huh. like it'd be like really kind of cool you know and I should all... have brought some tiki mugs to go out and, and just put your water and just put the water in. what are we drinking yeah. here today but it is it just seems kind of lame from like <laughs> so yeah tell me about how you got on the pinup <laughs> the reason why I got into pinup the reason <clears throat> the reason why I got in I didn't get into pinup you did the reason why I got into tiki Mm -hmm. Is like the outfit's real simple. You get to wear like a, a large, a large Aloha shirt. That is not the reason why. You it is. It is TV. because it is because I always had an I always had an interest in like the rockabilly scene, but um, my hair was too thin. I used to slick. You couldn't I, do a pompadour. I, I I tried to, and then like I thought I was doing okay, and then a friend of mine's like, "Hey Ray, you look like a guy who's trying to hold on." He was right because there was like nothing going on up there. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't have the hair, and I'm terrified of dancing, so the whole rockabilly thing ain't going to work out. So, um, and then when I saw that I could wear an Aloha shirt and be in the tiki scene, I jumped on that like a dog to Alpo. And, and have you found a deeper purpose uh, to it since then? This is Sammy interviewing Ray. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What, what, what kind of joy, what kind of... You know, deep joy did, have you found through your years of doing this? Well, for my years of doing blog posting is, is free, free drinks. I'm like you. I love the tiki culture. And actually, I, I now, when I travel, 
there are two things that I look for. I look for antique malls. Yeah. And I look for tiki bars. I thought you were going to say dairy farms. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I think that there's a lot of, of parallels to tiki. And I like how to, you're trying to still keep it like. Yeah. I'm, you're you know, trying to I'm, get it back on the rails. I'm hosting this show now. I'm, this you're, is you're, a, like one just... of, you're like one of those cars where it's on a track and, and an amusement <laughs> start. And you're like, it's a good, 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 good. And you're trying to like get it straight. <laughs> Obviously, we can't keep we it need, straight. That's, we need, that's what we I'm need to stay on here. course. <laughs> stay the course. Stay the course. <laughs> so, what, what was the question, Ray? What should we be talking about? We were talking about <laughs> your deep talk. connection it, to the tiki. It doesn't even matter. Let me, mm-hmm. me, how far? What have you got? <laughs> hey gang, this is Tiki with Ray, and I just want to say thank you very much for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more episodes, click on the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a like. That would mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment in the, uh, the comment section below.